Well, Super Bowl 45 is going old school. Two storied NFL teams, the Green Bay Packers and the Pittsburgh Steelers, will square off February 6th in Arlington, Texas. Here to look at how they got there and to preview the big game, Mike Golick and Mike Greenberg of ESPN's Mike and Mike in the morning. So looking forward to talking to you guys. And, and Greeny, um, sorry about your Jets. We'll get to that <laughs> in just a moment. Thank but you. But your buddy right there, come on, Mike, you pick the Packers and here three years after they get rid of Brett Favre, they're going back to the Super Bowl, Mike. Yeah, I almost got them both. I had the Packers and the Jets going to the Super Bowl. I, I was close to hitting them both. But, you know, for the Packers, listen, Aaron Rodgers is playing like the best quarterback in the game right now. Uh, every now and then they get a little bit of a running game, but they live off his arm offensively. But And he gets to talk, and mostly quarterbacks do, and, and a lot of times they deserve it. But this defense is playing incredible as well. That's the great thing about the Super Bowl is you're going to have two excellent defenses. And without question, one of the big storylines is going to be Aaron Rodgers replacing Brett Favre, replacing Placing a legend and taking mm -hmm. this team to a Super Bowl three years later, I think you could make an argument, Robin, that in the history of sports, certainly the recent history, no one has replaced a legend, a legendary player, on the level that Aaron Rodgers has replaced Brett Favre to this point. That is a big storyline, but you know who's big? The Freezer. I'm on BJ <laughs> Raji. I mean, if he scores in the Super Bowl, who knows how he's going to act, guys? The largest person by by weight to ever score in the postseason. He's listed at 337, and by the way, that's that's not true. Uh, he he outdoes <laughs> William uh, Perry, who was I think 318 pounds. It was a great play, quite honestly. Did you see, Robin? Did you see that athlete of a defensive tackle catch the ball with his hands and go into the end zone with his dance? It was fantastic. Forget about the catch. You're overlooking the important part. That was an audition for Dancing with the Stars. Is what it was. Right. Did you see that shaky head going there? I mean, that was 400 pounds of fun with that guy in the. End zone. It was hard to miss, guys. It was really hard to miss. <laughs> yeah. All right, moment of silence. Your Jets, Greeny, go ahead. Aye. Well, they didn't play a whole game, Robin. I mean, they, they didn't show up. And I think to a large degree, their Super Bowl was last week. The rivalry between the Jets and the Patriots is so overwhelming. I think they got themselves into such an emotional frenzy. Not to make excuses for them because the Steelers showed up and took care of business. But I think to some degree, there was a bit of an emotional letdown for the Jets coming off of that game. And it took them 30 minutes to get started yesterday. And you can't spot a really good team like the Steelers anything, much less 24 points. I think there were a lot of good stories coming out for the Jets, particularly... I think their young quarterback, Mark Sanchez, looked really good in a tough place to play with everything in the world against him. But at the end of the day, the team that deserved to win yesterday yeah. won. All right, so who wins it all? I think you go with the hot hand. And I think, especially considering the conditions will be good, I think it's very tough to pick against Aaron Rodgers right now. Well, again, the beginning of the season, I picked the Green Bay Packers against the Jets, and I had Green Bay winning it. So, you know what, I'm going to stay with that, Robin, at this point. I had Green Bay winning at the beginning of the season. I'll have Green Bay winning now. Well, then I'm going with the Steelers. If you, yeah, both are going, if you both are going with the Packers, I'm going with the Steelers. How's that? Yeah, well, Take that to Vegas Absolutely. and buy a mansion. Uh -huh. I think it's a good idea. <laughs> well, I'm sure we'll be talking before Super Bowl Sunday. Hey, guys, thanks so much. Have a great Thanks, day. Robin. All right, See take you. it easy.